Hey guys, welcome back to QuickBits. Uh, in today's video, we're going to cover this new enterprising build system called Mason. Um, Mason is a relatively new build system compared to others like CMake, um, but it's quickly gaining traction. A lot of uh, famous projects actually switching uh, from, let's say, AutoTools to Mason. Uh, for example, the way I learned Mason was by looking at the Fuse project. All right, and Mason is actually a very simple build system. You can think of it as a combination of a CMake and AutoTools. Um, it supports a lot of languages, but in this video, we're going to cover how to do things with C++. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we have an empty directory, and we'll create a simple file. Um, you know, as usual, we're going to write hello world. Um, Say we just do hello world. Okay. I never write code with bugs, so I'm sure this works. Um, all right. So now we want to create the Mason uh, build file. All right. All we have to do is just to say. Well, the first thing we have to do is just say what project is this. So let's call it hello project. Um, the other cool thing that we have to do that we, ha we don't have to do with a lot of other build systems is to specify the language that we're using. So in this case, we use C++, so we just type CPP. If you use C, you can just put like C there. Um, let's see, and then we just do executable. Executable, uh, executable. yeah. Um, let's call it YouTube uh, example. Example, example, yeah. And our file, right? So this is a very simple example. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to type uh, in this directory we want to type um, Mason and uh, we want to like create the like pass the directory name uh, our build directory name so it could be anything. Let me just say uh, lovely build. Um, yeah, I use this very obscure name. Just want to make sure that you guys don't think it's a command name. So you know, in my case lovely build. Let's run it. Okay, cool. You can, as you can see, there are like you know a lot of uh, useful stuff being specified, which compiler will use, right? It's very similar to CMA configure, right? When you configure a CMA project. So now uh, we see that we generated our build directory. So let's go inside. Let's see what's in there. You can see a bunch of stuff. Um, compile command JSON, which is very useful. If you're using some IDEs, you can use this. Um, and now we can just do amazing compile to compile our project. That's it, and our executable is right here. Hello world. All right. I hope you guys like this first simple example. Watch my other videos for more complicated examples. Uh, all right. See you next time. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.